What is up, M Effers? I hope you're having an amazing day today. Like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. It's 20 degrees today. Welcome to winter in the Midwest. Not cool. Anyway, a couple weeks ago, I did a video where I fished with baits from this company called Fanatic Lures. Now, I went out and did some micro fishing. They make these super lifelike, ultra realistic grub and larvae type baits, and we went micro fishing with them. Me and Max had a ton of success on them. We actually ended up catching a couple bass micro fishing as well, which shows me that bass will eat these too. Now, I said in that video, I was like, if it gets a thousand likes, I'm going to take these out and target bass specifically with some of the larger ones. Now, I was using like one inch craw baits, one inch creature baits, little itty bitty tiny baits and still catching bass on those. So today, what I'm going to be doing is taking two different types of these fanatic lures, these little grub type larvae baits. This is the three and a half inch larvae and then their five and a half inch worm out to a little local pond and do some bass fishing specifically to see if bass will eat these ultra realistic little larvae type baits. Now I also want to let you guys know we'll be doing a little giveaway at the end of this video. The way that's going to work is if this gets a thousand likes I will pick one of you and give away 10 packages of these fanatic lures to a lucky viewer. Stay tuned for directions on how you can enter the contest to the end of the video but right now it'd be a good idea to go hit that thumbs up button so we can get to a thousand and we can give away a a whole bunch of these awesome lifelike lures to one of you guys. Anyways, I'm gonna get out to the lake. I don't have any guarantees. I mean, fishing's never a guarantee, but it's 20 freaking degrees outside today. So let's get out there and see what happens. All right, to the lake. You know, I wasn't kidding when I said I was uh, only fishing with these. I literally brought two rods, uh, my vlog camera, my GoPro camera, a pair of pliers, the terminal tackle, and uh, like five or six bags of these Fanatic Lures. It is literally all I have. So I came out to one of the lakes. I like to do some of my like lunch break bass and some of my quick little bass and trips. It's this little pond right here. And you can see there's actually skim ice on the lake. So uh, fishing could be pretty tough today. I was a little nervous when I pulled up because there was actually ice all the way across one of the lakes that's right by here. And uh, yeah, that was uh, not cool. So today is gonna be very, very interesting to say the least, but thanks to old Mr. Bubbler out there, it looks like only about half the lake has ice on it. So let's get the throw and see if we can't catch some really brutal tough conditions. Like I said, 20 degrees right now and uh, it's going to be interesting. All right. Well, this is uh, terrible conditions, but time to see what we can do. I'm going to start with this uh, Fanatic Dagger Active. It's this five and a half inch worm. Water's kind of murky, so I'm thinking maybe this like June bug color will be worth a shiz. Man, I can't believe there's freaking ice on half this lake. Gonna be interesting. Gonna have to work these baits crazy, crazy slow probably to get bit. Nah, well, had a bite. That's a good start. This water has got to be like crazy cold, maybe upper 30s even, so cold. Had a bite, took a little while, but had one pulling on it, so that's a good start. There we go, there we go. Yep, come here, buddy. Look at that guy, he doesn't even know how to fight, it's so damn cold. Look at that. Can't believe I actually caught one. I really like the looks of this worm, this dagger active in the water. That's not a bad fish either. He's super, super fat, healthy, pretty in this cold water. Get him back in. Wrong way, brother. That way. There he goes. Yes. Starting to get a little nervous there. It took me about 10 minutes to catch one. Maybe a little bit longer than that even. This is the uh, Dagger Active. It actually has like a really nice, I don't know if you can see this in the water. Tail has a ton of action. It's just a little twisty tail worm. Um, yeah, five and a half inch twisty tail worm and they freaking love it. Damn it. There was another one. Man, they are so lethargic in this cold water and that's not surprising. That's ice right there. I'm getting bit right here. Feels like there's a little hard spot at the bottom, which is a perfect spot for these cold water fish. I can't really complain getting bit in water this cold though. I'll take it. 
All right, well, so far, bite is uh, real tough. These fish are super lethargic. I've got this guy rigged up on a, a Texas rig, quarter ounce weight, unpegged, so it's kind of a natural fall. And this little tail kicks really, really good. It has a nice little tight shimmy. I like this thing. I'm definitely gonna be using it in the future. But uh, I'm gonna switch it up to a little bit more natural bait. I also, on my other rod, brought the larvae type bait. And I got this guy rigged up on a swing head, that cool swing head I showed you guys last time from Fanatic, where you can actually uh, pull this little clevis out and change the hook. So you can switch out really, really quick. But yeah, this super uh, natural larvae bait, maybe it's something that they want. It's more of a short, compact profile. These fish are definitely not active this morning. So only one way to find out if they want it. Let's see if they do. I'm switching up to the uh, the darker colored larva bait. I don't know if they don't want this because they can't see it. The water is only about a foot and a half visibility right here. But uh, yeah, I'm going to thread one of these perp dudes since they wanted the purple worm and see if that's the deal. I don't really know, but this guy uh, stand out a little bit better in that dirty water. That's what you want. Cast into the ice line. Ah, uh, had a bite on the larva. Poor little larva. We're on a fountain pattern, folks. There we go. There we go. Woo, that is a light freaking bite. He was just swimming with it. Didn't even suck it up, nothing. That is a cold fish, too. Woo. First fish on the larva. It's 20 degrees outside and they're eating the larva. I'll take it. Boom. That's always good, right? We got some uh, iced over line guides. I was wondering why my reel was having a hard time reeling. That'll probably do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that'll last a long time. All right, let's get another one. Good old fountain pattern. Nah. They are just biting so light, but they really seem to want to be around this fountain. So I'm going to keep fishing the fountain. I've been casting all over the damn place. No bites. And I come back to the fountain and I get a bite. First cast. Lightest bite in history of fishing. Well, I've been fishing for about an uh, hour and a half now. And I got to be straight with you guys. My hands are like frozen freaking solid. I just kind of want to get out here and, and stick some this morning on these baits and to my surprise they're actually biting with uh, ice on half the lake which is not obviously the best conditions. It's still about 20 degrees, my, my guides are freezing up but I got to be honest I'm probably only going to last about another half hour out here but I've had probably five or six bites uh, on the larva baits which in this weather in these conditions is uh, pretty amazing to me. So. I'm gonna keep uh, working my way around the pond here, see if I can't pick up a couple more on these baits. Maybe change the colors up and the rigging up a little bit too, but uh, successful day so far. It's 20 some degrees and I'm out here sticking fish in these uh, super, super terrible conditions with this muddy ass water. Can't really say much more than that other than uh, hopefully we can stick a few more. All right, I'm back for one more try at the old frontal fountain pattern much different than the uh, back of the fountain pattern come on and just lost another one in this little brush pile perfect today's going so well how's it going yeah I got you. Yeah, I, uh, I know and she gave me permission to, I could fish here up at the clubhouse. When did you ask her? What's that? When did you ask her? Uh, this last spring. I used to work here. Uh, we've been having trespassing. We've got some stuff on YouTube. Really? That, huh. That saying, hey, come on out. You can, go, you can fish here. No, you can't. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. I just got permission from her, so I thought it'd be okay. Okay. So you gotta leave. All right, sounds good. I'm Ben. Ben? Yeah. I used to work here. Yeah, I was a, uh, a server at the country club up here. Yep. 
Well, started to get a couple more bites on those brush piles, but some grumpy old bastard that works here said I can't fish here anymore because it's uh, private property. Well, I actually have permission to fish here because um, I used to work here, so that kind of sucks. But that's not that bad of a thing. It's freaking terribly cold out here. Uh, so we're going to call it a day. Now, that definitely wasn't uh, my finest fishing moment. It was a really tough day. I think I only caught two despite having a bunch of bites. Crazy, crazy cold outside, so I can't really complain uh, that I did catch some. And I was really shocked they actually bit those soft plastic baits. You know, if I had a jerk bait, I think I might have gotten a couple more bites. But the fact that they ate those fanatic baits uh, in this cold of water and conditions really showed me a lot. I'm gonna have to definitely get back out here when it's not so freaking terribly cold. All right, like I said, I'm gonna give away a whole bunch of these fanatic lures to you guys. Ten packages to be exact if and only if we get this to a thousand likes. So the way you can win these ultra life like larvae baits, worm baits, craw baits is go leave a comment down below. Comment whatever you would like. You know, one thing I would like to know from you guys, I, I kind of get on a set schedule here a little bit more. I think I'm actually gonna be off the schedule this week, but for my video releases, I'm thinking like Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. So comment below. Let me know if you like that or, or what days you'd like to see. Step number two, go subscribe to Melican Fishing. And step number three, like I already said, go hit that thumbs up to like. Now, one thing I'd really appreciate from you guys is if you took two seconds out of your day to go on over to my Instagram page, Melican Fishing, and give that a follow as well. I'm trying to unlock some new features uh, from Instagram to help get my content to you guys in a more efficient manner. So once again, if you wanna win these Fanatic Baits, Comment down below, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to Melican Fishing. One week from today, on Tuesday, I'm going to use a random comment generator to pick a winner for the 10 packages of these Fanatic Baits as long as we're at 1,000 likes. I'll go down, pick the comment, make sure you're subscribed to Melican Fishing, and I will get in touch with you. It'll say right down below on this video, giveaway winner and who it is. And just to let you guys know, I, I do have the winner's pick for the last two giveaways up on those videos. I've been getting lots of questions about those as well. But uh, yeah, like I said, not the best showing by me today. It's crazy, crazy cold. My hands are freaking numb, feeling terrible right now, but I can't really complain. I got out, caught some fish. If you wanna check out any of these fanatic lures, I'll leave a link right below at the top of the description. If you wanna go head over there, check out some of these baits, they work. I mean, I, I caught fish on them today in about the worst conditions possible, and uh, they worked great for micro fishing as well, the little tiny ones. So go check those out tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow I plan to take my John boat out for the very first time. So hopefully that video will be coming to you guys very, very soon. Uh, but for now, I am out of here. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. I will catch you very, very soon. Peace. This is the bigger larvae lure. It's called the uh, the Dagger 